Today we're gonna take a 2D image we created before and animate it using Photoshop. Hey there, my name is Ali. If you haven't watched part 1 of this tutorial, make sure you watch it to see how we created this image. Otherwise, just you can download it from the description below, just to make sure you follow along with us. Okay, now I pulled the image to Photoshop. I'm gonna close the timeline for now. We created this image. Now we want to animate it. So first thing, I'm gonna choose which parts I'm gonna animate. So I'm gonna first pick the water. I want to animate the water. Something like that. Make sure before you select you have a feather of 15 pixels or depending on your image. We don't want sharp edges. To check it, just make sure you press Q. It will show you your selection. You see now our selection is faded. That's good. Okay. Now I press Q again to remove it. Now on the background layer, I'm gonna press Ctrl J. Now I made a duplicate as you can see of this part. Okay, this we're gonna animate. Now I'm gonna stand again on the background layer, pick my lasso tool, and also make sure I'm the same feather, and then I'm gonna select some areas I would want to animate. I'm just gonna like do it randomly to the places which we want to make our animation, or like the movement happening. It doesn't have to be like perfectly clear. Okay, I guess we're done now. Now we're gonna, we will like move this only. Maybe I'll add only the, again this one. And then on the background layer, I'm gonna hold control, press J. This will make a new layer, as you see, of what we just selected. Okay, then make sure this is a must to convert them to smart objects. Okay, then we're gonna go to window and open our timeline. Make sure that your timeline is video, not frame animation. Then press create video timeline. Now we have our two layers and our timeline. You can make it like bigger and smaller by moving it up and down. You can make the timeline like smaller or bigger also by moving this one. So now we see if you see it's like 10 frames, 20 frames, then 30 frames is one second and total five seconds. So I'm gonna pull it back until it's two seconds. The end of everything. Okay, now we have a two second like video. Okay, I'm gonna start with this layer, I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna add a transform keyframe when I'm at the beginning of everything. Then I'm gonna move my timeline to the end of everything, I'm gonna press Ctrl T, then I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, and move it down, something like that. Now what's like basically gonna happen, in the two seconds, the Photoshop is gonna move it the same way I transformed it, in a duration of two seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same with the water. At the beginning, I'm gonna add a transform keyframe. And then at the end of everything, I'm gonna press Ctrl T and just pull it to the right so it's moving to the right direction. Okay, now this is how it looks like. I'm gonna press play. It's a little bit slow because it's still rendering. Yeah, it should be like much faster than this because it's rendering, so it's much slower. However, it's not still realistic, so I'm gonna... This is a 2 second frame, so I'm gonna make a duration of 0.95, which is almost less than the half. And then I'm gonna take my fade, put it at the beginning, and at the end. And again, put it at the beginning, and at the end of my two animations. Now it's like more of fading in and fading out, so it's more, much more like realistic. Okay, we're not done yet. Another thing we're gonna do to make it like much better, I'm gonna select the two animation layers I made, then I'm gonna hold control and co or command, then press G. Now I grouped everything. We have two seconds of the group, like this. This is how it's gonna look like. Okay, now I'm gonna hold control and press J several times. Now I created many duplicates of what I did. So I'm gonna go on the second one and I'm gonna move it to the half of everything which is one second. 
to make sure I'm just gonna move this one okay it's on one second on then this one I'm gonna move it all the way to two seconds this one to three this one to four and the last one I'm not gonna move it to five but I'm gonna move it backwards to half so instead of it being two seconds I'm gonna make it only one second okay now we're done I'm gonna press space or I'm just gonna move it so it looks faster this is how it's gonna look like something like that however the problem is I don't want the boat to be moving I don't want like I only want the water and the ice so I'm gonna stand on the background layer hold control and press J now I made a dupl duplicate of the background layer I'm gonna move it on top of everything making sure it's the same time as the frame and now the background layer is on top of everything so when I move my timeline I can't see anything it's covering everything so I'm gonna add a layer mask and press ctrl I this now erased it now I'm only gonna bring back by painting with a white brush the places where I don't want the effect to be happening so I'm gonna paint only the boat with white now the effect is gonna happen everywhere except this area you see there's a white painting here on the layer mask this area is the only area which the effect is not happening so this is how the effect is gonna look like okay to export your video just press on the arrow below i'm gonna show you the final result just now make sure you're using uh, like high quality or whatever quality you want to use if you want it for youtube for vimeo or like hd or whatever i'm using high quality select where you want it make sure the format is h 2.64 and just make sure also it's like all frames and just press render and leave it i'm gonna skip now and i'm gonna show you the final result because when i view it on photoshop it's slow but the final result is gonna be smooth okay this is the animation i we just made now in photoshop uh, if uh, that's it for today's tutorial if you like it make sure you subscribe and comment anything below thank you